Okay, hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing two little quick artsy activities, okay? So, I actually learned, um, hold on one second, let me move this out the way, even though I'm going to use it in a moment. I have these little pockets. <laughs> right they can actually open up and you can journal inside them if you want right hold on one second you can journal inside do some private journaling that's fine depending upon who you are you may like that or you could stick it down on a journaling page or something like that this one i made and i put i even put some sticker some some um this is a um a die cut and this is something that I punched out and stick inked and then stamped on um, I did that for several items um, no not that I did that for several items I made several ones like that maybe at some point I'll show that in the video and so you see right here so this can be opened up again open up open up I'm gonna show how to make this okay I learned how to do this from um, Paper Outpost, right? So I like paper crafting, so I'll look at those videos and learn different things. So now one of the things that she mentioned that it is best when you do it with like paper that's not too thick, not like heavy cardstock. This right here is heavy cardstock and I could tell you that it was a challenge. But I just like it. It's so it's so cool. Um, and she even showed how you could just tape it down and then just use it as a little pocket. So I could go ahead and glue this. I could put some glue right here, glue this, and then make this a little a pocket if I want. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. But um, I wanted to show how to make this. And another thing, but I think I'm going to leave the other thing for another video. Um, I don't have a paper tonight. It's 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 kind of late, but um, if I go to sleep too early, that's going to be a catastrophe. So I was like, so you know, um, I'm, I'm just excited to have a moment, um, <laughs> I, um, a break from school. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited on know to do it myself um, last week turned my last paper in and did my quiz and thank you Jesus Good. this is like what you call a brain break okay so so what I have in here is my scraps um, and these are the only scraps that I have because I did a major decluttering and these are scraps that I'm using for like to make embellishments and different things like that. And so um, I have it all in one central place. Because sometimes, you know, when you use scrapbook paper, you don't, like for example, I use scrapbook paper for something and look how much was still left. I'm not throwing that out. But I'm also not going to put it back inside of the bin. So, um, I could use a six by six scrapbook paper because, um, this making these, you need a square. So I'm going to find something thin. I think I'll use this, right? But it looks like I'm going to have to cut it down, but I'm going to make it out of this one. So I'll probably make two. And, um, if you want the original video, Maybe I should make one out of this paper too right here. This is an old book that I in. So I'll, let's see, maybe I'll make three of them. So um, I'll leave the video to the link to the original video. So I do need to make sure like this is, even where is the, I was gonna look for one second y'all. Okay, no, I'll just make sure I hold it down. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to see what is the measurement for this. So, you know, I'm not, sometimes I feel very 
out of pocket with um, this measuring stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do four by four. I'm gonna do a four by four. That's gonna be tiny. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I do have, you know, that piece that goes here to hold it down, but um, I'm not gonna go over there and get it. So, so here we go. Four by four. So we have this there here. And let's see, this one I think I'll do six by six. So this could be six by six. Let me make sure I'm gonna have enough. Yeah, so we'll do this one six by six. The other one is gonna be tiny, but that's okay. So we need it to be even on all sides, six to be a square exactly, not a rectangle. Okay, so that's cool. So now we have this. Let me see what this could be. Um, let's make this five. Like this not going to be enough. Nope. Is it going to be enough for four? Mm, you can make a real tiny one. Nah, I don't like that. You just have to do, do, a, do a four by four with this. So. Okay, and okay, so all right, so now that we got that cut, I'm gonna see these little bits. I can either throw them out or use it for infamer, but you see it, but you know what? Okay, because it's not like I'm, I'm storing more, it will actually that still is less because you know I use what was already in there all right so now let's do some easy paper craft and relaxing therapy session <laughs> so the first thing I learned from her is I forgot her name but I know her channel paper outpost so is to make this into a rectangle so you see that so like a half a would that be like a half a sandwich or something? Well, let's just say a rectangle. Let me not get try to get too technical terms, right? So now, um, oh, that's a delivery. So now we're going to fold it here. Do you see this now? We're folding it in here. All right. So once you do that, it's like this, right? And so now you come here, and she actually uses like the um the measuring her mat and everything because you want to make sure you fold stuff in just enough but i'm eyeballing it so you see so now i'm taking one side and i'm folding it in and i usually look over here to see if it's going to line up like a, a square you know i don't want it to be all slanted in like this of course not because I want it to be like an envelope. So I keep that in mind. And so here we go with right this. Oopsie daisy. Right. And then the other side as well. Right. You see that? Wait a second. Let me pull it out a little bit more. A little bit more. Pull it out. Okay. So now it looks like a little envelope. Right. Now this part right here. She took and she folded it. You see where this line is at? She folded right there. So you take the tip of this and you fold it, but you use this as a middle. This this right here, you use this as a guide to where you should fold. And now you have this little flap here. So now you do this. You open it up, you press down, and it made it like a little pocket. So you see, I'm gonna do that again. It's like this. Maybe I could use something here. Oh, I put it in the wrong. You open it up, and then when you open it up, you open from here, open it up, and then you press down. And then you fold this over. You wanna make sure you come down. You wanna fold down. 
of course you want it to be you don't want it to be up top here because then it won't fit, go inside the little cup that you just made the little you know pocket cup whatever you call that and then you would just go ahead and it fits right in okay and I need to move this over a bit hold on one second there we go that's better all right and now boom this is so little it's so little so let's try it with this one this paper is so fragile um honey you need me hold on y'all let me pause this a second okay so now i'm gonna make this into a triangle this is very fragile this paper so i'm gonna go like this i'm gonna fold it it's okay honey if you make some he didn't bring it up okay I'm back and you're gonna hear some water running so so again this paper is very thin so let's just see how it will come out um I do want to say something about this though I don't like how tiny this is I want to try one with a 12 by 12 piece of paper I really want to do that so yeah this is really not this is really too little um, for my liking but I'm just going to go ahead with it because I have it now let me see if I would like oh my god look how it's so brittle alright so let me just go ahead and do that and then open it up This would be something really de just for decoration because it really is little. Okay, hold on one second. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like, I'm not liking this. I'm not even liking how it came out. Ew. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, what's up with this? I'm not even. Oh, it's too far down. That's what it is. Yeah, and then you see how it is ripped right there. Yeah, this paper is too brittle. This paper is really brittle. This is from a real old book. But um, you see how I was able to do that. This will be used for some type of ephemera, or something. Ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. <laughs> okay. So that's a real little one. You see it? Um, but it's it's so tiny. No, okay. So let's try with this. This is bigger. So okay. So now fold this in. Make sure it's in the middle. And like I said, she uses her mat, so see a better measurements and stuff like that. So here's this. Fold this one in. Right? And then fold this in. And, you know, she went into the importance of having it, like, even when you fold it up. So, you know, you won't run into any complications later with um when you fold it over so you see how I have it like that now so I'm gonna take and oh yeah it's like origami right yeah and so now I'm gonna take this put it like this yeah I like this one even though I feel like this could have been in a little bit more. Let me try it in a little. Okay, and now, there we go. So I like how that is. You see? Let me see if you can see it. 
I'm looking at that thing. Right. So now I can open it up. I could journal. Do like some private journaling if I want. Or I can glue it down and just use it as a pocket. Right. To put something in. And you know, like a journaling tuck spot. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So. So we did this one. We did this one. Which is a cute. It's little. Cute. This one which I don't like. Okay, I think I'm going to take that and put that back in the scrap bin for something. And I want to do a 6 by 6 one. So that's right, right now off the cuff. Let me find a piece of scrapbook paper here. I see one sticking out here. We'll go with this. Yeah. We'll go with this. So this is 12 by 12. Let me just make sure. Oh, it has a little rip, but okay, it's all right. Um... It's Marilla. Marilla, Marilla, where are you, Marilla? Okay. Alrighty. Just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure it is. Because you see this little dotted line here? This might be. No, that might. So it is 12. It's still 12. Yep. A little bit more. Let's see. 12. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold it this way. Yeah, I'm going to fold it this way. But I never did it with this, a big piece of paper like this. I just been, as you see what I showed you, I've been using those little papers. And, you know, you can ink it and stuff like that if you want. But I'm not going to be going into all of that now. Okay, why does this look off? Okay, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to be here all day. Because I noticed that it was a little bit not like 12. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to have to. As much as I don't want to do this. But it's, it's off by a little bit and that's making it difficult that really is making it difficult so wait a minute so that means that this is not 12 what in the world okay so you know what I'm going to do the 10 by 10 I'm not going to be sitting here fussing with this one minute I'm going to do it 10 inches so let me go out here and get the trimmer and just do it 10 by 10 because it's getting on my nerves. Now what's going on here with this? Let me put it in here. Come on. There we go. Alright, so, okay. Oh, hold on. Alright. So let me do 10 by 10. So I'm going to go this way. Alright. So 10 by 10. So let me put it right here in the right. Okay. I think that's right. That's correct. Yes. Alright. That's 10. Make sure it's correct. And then. Okay, there we go. Right, take that off. Now this way for 10. So now I shouldn't have any problems now. So really doing a 10 by 10. Good. All right, so. We'll put this over back over here. All right, and now all righty, and make sure it's lining up. Yep, much better, much better. Not perfect, but 
It's much better than the one. All right, so then we have that. So now it's gonna go this way and fold it up to this middle line here. Okay, so we have that. So then fold it up here. Okay, so now it looks like that. Then I'll fold this in. I already like it. I'm already liking it. Like that. Fold that flap in. Then, um, if there aren't supposed to be any technical terms for it, I don't know. So, sorry about that. But I need to bring this in some. That I do believe I need to do. Right? And then, so let me see what happens when I go to... Okay, great. So now we have this, like this, right? So now I'm gonna take this and pull it, this, flap it down, but using this right here as my guide, the middle, let me know it's the middle, right? Like this. Then I'm gonna take it and open it up. It looks better, it's easy to be sewn on a bigger piece of paper looks like like that now take this and fold it down right fold the flap like that and now wow I like that I like that one much better I like it bigger right and I see like I even could put it because it didn't look all together even over there there we go all right, there we go. That's better. I like that. And you know, you could go ahead and ink, ink, ink. Oh my God, I don't even wanna, I don't think I will glue this down. I will like, say like, um, let me show you. Let me pull out the journal here. Okay, then I think I can just tuck this in. Um, if I want, take a nice little paper clip, which I'm not going to go and get right now. But I could take, if I want, and like just clip it in there. Or clip it in this way. Right? And I could glue this down and then just be able to stick something in there. I can even do this. Right? Somebody may want to leave it open and then, you know, write something there and just have a pocket make it like a pocket but it looks nice when to me when you close it that you can close it you know so if a person wants to make this and then like put like stickers or something in there in a journal something that they're going to be using or you know maybe a note card or something and you know I'll just put it in so I think I am going to let me show you let me get a nice little clip a nice little clip I wasn't going to but why not Oh, and I have a, a perfect little clip for this. Just do right here. Yeah, it's cute. So, I have one more thing I'm going to show today. So, I don't want to cover this up. So, I think I'm going to come in this way. Nope. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Okay, I don't mind it here. So, put this here. Yes, like this. You see? I like that. And sometimes I'll make a page and I'll just, I'll do the layout when I'm not led to do anything on it yet. Yeah, I had to learn that. Like, it's okay to not um, have made anything in your, to write anything on your layout yet. Don't force it. Sometimes... I know for me sometimes it's just a decorative piece just to go ahead and do that and this right here it's just so cute so i have a i made this pocket back here i forgot to show that um maybe one day i'll show how to make this i made this totally out of some some paper some copy paper some cardstock and a piece of scrap paper and a couple of stickers of course not this this is something that um these little pen holders i purchased i just put it there on there but it's, it's actually a pocket 
and these buttons could be made these little things right here could be made out of paper and so that was that was really fun to do and um, I can close it up so I kind of wanted to stick this somewhere but um, this cute little one I really like this little thing here let me put this here I'll put it right there. I'll find somewhere for it, but I want it in there. I want it in there. So, yeah, so let me open that back up and leave it there for a moment. So, because I don't, I can, I'm not going to put a still photo because I'm just going to upload these videos or unedit it. I don't have time to unedit. And some of this stuff I was going to, I will be doing, I will just be sitting, doing, relaxing at the end of the day, resting my mind. And so, um, but to sit and do the editing takes too much time. I don't have the time for that. Um, no, I can't say I don't have the time for that. That's not true. I don't want to take the time to do it. I'm learning when I don't have the time to do something and when I just simply just don't want to do it. And I just don't want to do it. All right, so that's it. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember... Jesus loves you. Alrighty. Bye-bye.